Hello and welcome back to a brand new vlog. My name is Orion. I make videos every single Wednesday and Sunday and I post them at 6 p.m. And I guess this is essentially part two of the 250 acre farm adventures. But this time we are beginning it with an absolute banger. This house, you're gonna love it. To convert this into like a livable property, you're looking at well over a million pounds. Because not only are you surrounded by absolutely beautiful views in a very secluded spot but you've got the farmhouse which is it's massive i may very well try to go in there and have a little bit of a wander around but included right next to the farmhouse you actually have this huge barn this is bigger than the barns i showed in the last vlog and it's actually a brick building as well if i squeeze my way in through this gate we'll have a look inside where you have a steel beam lean to on the side of it but in here you've got the wooden beams and this massive barn and i had no idea but on the other side of all these hay bales there is a huge barn door wow oh my days this barn itself is absolutely stunning the beams i don't know what it is about brick and wooden beams but I just really appreciate it. The entranceways are, are absolutely ginormous. Obviously, so you can get like a tractor in and stuff like that to actually move these hay bales, which is why these double doors are so big. But just imagine the things that you can do to, to, to like to this place to make it like livable. The garden space itself is actually gorgeous with the views that you get over there, let alone this massive barn and the house. But before we try and poke our noses in there, I actually want to go around the side of this building and see if I can see the big barn doors. But as I make my way around, wow, the views. You can... This is this is what it's about, man. Just nothing, as, I, as far as the eye can see, peace and quiet. Maybe that's just me getting old, but I don't know. Something about being in the country suits me. But holy moly, you can see how much this is actually overgrown. I'm currently sitting on the gate. And that right there is where the barn door is. Clearing this out alone would be quite a task. Now, I would like to have a wander in here, but trying to find a point of entry is quite difficult with everything being so overgrown. Well, we have squeezed through the door into part of the house. However, we don't actually have access to the rest of the house. So we're just kind of now stood on a bunch of straw. <laughs> Great success. And for context, this is the uh, this is the gap that we had to squeeze through to get in there. We do, however, believe that just where that archway is there, where it's all overgrown, there's a little passage where you can get into the actual house. So we're gonna try and hack away it to get inside. Change of plan, that is too overgrown. This, however, is nice or not. So after a bit of forceful persuasion with my foot, I have cleared all the brambles and we're gonna climb inside. And oh my God, look at this place. Definitely a little bit of a hole in the roof, but old fireplace. I think there's an even bigger one down there. I'm currently obviously stood on the beams of the floor above the second floor, and we climbed in through the ground floor window, but there is indeed a passage into the house. So if we make our way, holy moly, look how old this is. I'm gonna be really careful because I don't know how safe anything is in here, but. Wow. There's the barn. We've determined that this is only half of the house, but we are going to attempt to go down the stairs. And I am most definitely going to need my flash for this. I'm going to take one step at a time very carefully. Oh, there's a door down there which is closed, yeah. which is just going to be below where we were, to be fair. But it's not like we can go any further down this way. But man, how do you get to the other side of the house? It must be downstairs. Yeah, you can see where the, the ceiling has fallen down. I've actually spotted a little doorway down there, but I think that is just one singular room. And from what I can tell so far, it's definitely like split down the middle and you can't access the other building from this one. So to explore that side, I'm gonna have to go through there. All right, I am going to attempt to poke my head through that window. Wish me luck. Right, well, I can't poke my head in, so you're gonna have to do it for me. Wow, that room is massive. Holy moly, that looks like a barn, that. And after a uh, barn owl just flew at my face, it has been determined that I am now going in there to let everyone else in. How I am going to make my way down there, I have not a clue, but we'll figure it out. This baby Jason moment and just disappear. Okay, well, I'm in the barn. I did just 
parasail my way down the side of the, the wall there, but we are inside. There is bird crap everywhere, but I think that was what was boarded up when we were on the other side, the first room we went into. So there was actually no access into here at all, apart from this little hole, which I'm going to use to crawl back out. But yeah, that beam has seen better days. I don't feel particularly safe being stood near because the, the roof isn't really being held up by much. These all pull out. Is there another room on the other side of this? There must be, there's a door there. Well, that's enough exploring for today. <laughs> Let's get out of here. And after looking at what I have to crawl through, I think I'd prefer to throw it back out the window. I hope that's not a nice jumper. Ah. <laughs> Oh, what a day. I'd love to know what's in that little extension part of the house there though. But uh, judging by all of this overgrowth, don't think we'll be having a look around that part. However, now that we have had a look inside, let's get the drone out and have a look from above. I think now you can understand why this is such a beautiful spot when you get to look down from above and how much property there actually is here, it's crazy. But with this fully explored, we're gonna head back to the other side of the wood that we saw the other day. There's only one way to do that, and it's in a four by four. Definitely something on my bucket list. Oh, look at that, in its natural habitat. Man, I want one so bad. And not even necessarily the uh, the Touareg. Like, I've been looking... My, my dream car, by the way, is a Jeep Wrangler. I would love to get a Jeep, but a bit too pricey for me. However, as we walk our way through the overgrowth, which is extremely long grass, we have indeed arrived at the other side of the woods, which I showed in the last vlog. And wow, that tree. I've seen better days. Jesus, and it's not the only one. This one looks like it's split, but that one's been completely uprooted. You can actually see the borderline where my stepdad's land ends by this fence mark in here. And there's like some nice, lovely steps to go down to this lovely wooden bridge that goes across the stream. Oh, wow. Steps go all the way up and there's like a nice open rock face there. And as I take a closer look, you can see why they've made so much effort with the steps and the bridge. Because look through that gap there. That's the rock face I was talking about. There's like a nice little garden space where you can just relax. Amazing. Gives you a little idea of what you could do with like woods like this. Yeah, trees have fallen down and it's kind of growing on itself as a normal ecosystem would. So you just carve out a little bit of personal space to, to come and relax. Oh, it's like a little heaven away from home. I actually think with a little bit of help, you'd get the water running through the stream as well because it flows, but not as much as it probably could do. And among all the birds and the wind in the trees, you get the sound of water running through the stream, which would be absolutely beautiful. And a helicopter overhead. I say that, but it's not a helicopter. It's like a little, little plane. Ruining my peace. However, with the woods now explored, it's time to head back towards the house. Not before we take a little pit stop to have a look at the view. Nothing but blue skies and farming fields as far as the eye can see. Absolutely beautiful. The things I would do to live here. I mean, come on, it doesn't get much better than a view like that, does it? It is now obviously the, the next day after spending a night here and getting to appreciate that view. We are now looking around the top fields of the farm where we are still thinking about potential ideas and ways to diversify the farm because even though you can see the cattle here today, it won't be too long, unfortunately, before they are gone. I won't go into too much detail as to where they are going, but uh, they are going for good. This place will no longer be a cattle farm. And uh, as you've heard me talk about a few times now, there are discussions and, and ideas being floated around of possible ways to generate revenue from the farm because we can't do cattle anymore. It's a real shame because they are absolutely stunning much like the sheep at the very top field as they scurry away what a beautiful little plot of land this is the more i wander around the more i just appreciate how stunning that view is to think we're actually at a point now where we want to cover it all in houses and real estate and ruin 
that view. I am nowhere remotely close to being political or understanding the in and outs of a country and how it works, but I think we're at a point where we're starting to lose the countryside and how actually beautiful this country can be when for as far as the eye can see, there's no buildings. Just a bunch of turnips, some cows, and the sheep. But I am currently stood in the middle of four plots of, uh, plots of land where I'm trying to think of different ideas of what you could do with them, whether it be like, you know, put in like a campsite on here. It's very flat, probably work quite nicely or events having, my mum actually had a, uh, a wedding right there, her, her wedding on that field. And I don't know what you do with this field just because the view is just so nice. And that's partially because the uh, the land kind of drops off there so you can see everything and we're at the very top. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not really too sure what you could do. I did think about like the idea of putting like, you know, kind of like shepherd's huts or little log cabins, uh, essentially glamping and putting that like along the hedge line. So whoever stays there, can you imagine those like really nice glamping spots where they have like a jacuzzi outside and having that view to wake up to? I think that would be a, a good way of, of generating money. I don't know. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments down below because obviously I would just like to leave it as farmland, but it just, it doesn't make enough money. And whilst I'm not gonna go into the logistics of why the cows actually have to go, mainly because I don't know them, it is uh, trying to think of the best ways to diversify a farm these days. I feel like a campsite would be good here. I think that probably the best thing to do is to get the drone out. I'm gonna see if I can mic up the drone uh, and talk as I fly over the land. That way we can get a proper picture of how all of this looks from above. All right, well, this is the first time I have ever done this. Uh, if you can see me at the bottom of your picture, waving, I have thankfully managed to get the microphone to work. And this is the, uh, the field I was talking about with the cows with the absolutely stunning view over there. As you can see, it's a bit of a uh, triangular field and it drops off towards that top left corner. Uh, and I'm, again, I'm not really sure what you could do with this other than where this hedge line is in front. I'm pointing like you can see me. You can just about see me. But the hedge line at the base of the screen is where I feel like you could probably put uh, some glamping pods or, you know, like little log cabins or something like that that you could kind of, not Airbnb, uh, or maybe you could Airbnb it, but somewhere for people to stay. And then this is the super flat field with the luscious grass on it where the sheep are currently that I was thinking would be a really good plot to, uh, to put like a caravan or a camping site because it is absolutely massive. But you can see there, that's where the electric hookup would be. So to run electrics all the way down to this bottom section of the, the field, you definitely wouldn't need to cut off that big of a slice to put a campsite there. But because it's just so level, it'd be so easy to, to put caravans and tenting pitches on that. And then obviously you just have to build out the dirt track to get there. Potentially you could put like a, a toilet block here because in my mind what I'm thinking is if I very quickly zip to a bit of a bird's eye view. Well, I couldn't actually uh, fly high enough to get them all in frame uh, without losing signal on the drone because it is just that big. But where I'm walking now, I feel like you'd have to put a track all the way down here and use this kind of X marks the spot, if you will, as the central point for what you could do with these fields. The furthest field at the top there, if I fly over towards it, I think you could probably use this for events. Yes, it's got turnips on it right now. Uh, and even the field to the left, where I was talking about potentially having a campsite, it's obviously grazing currently and it's got fresh grass being grown. Uh, but honestly, because it's just so flat, you'd make a lot of money, I think, from a campsite. Uh, and it'd probably have the, the best chance of being successful because of the fact that it's just so flat and, and it's like prime location for that. However, having this X marks the spot as the central point, you can then have toilet access if you do events and stuff like that. You've got plenty of space where I am stood now to build the track in and turn this into a bit more of like, you know, a car park or an events field. As I said, my mom actually got married on it, but you can really get a sense of the scale of this place when you're up in the sky. Like, look how many sheep you can see that are like dots down there. It is absolutely massive. Even for like a campsite, you'd only need to trim off like a very small section of this land and you could probably still farm the rest. But man, there would be a lot of work to be done to get there. I think this definitely has to be the weirdest way I've ever filmed some vlog footage, but it's very cool to know that I can use a microphone and you on the drone 
so we can talk over footage flying in the sky. I am, however, going to put this gear away because it is incredibly windy today, as I'm sure you can hear on the phone now. I don't know why I'm not using my microphone to talk to you, but yeah, it's a bit too windy for the drone. I can barely keep the camera straight. But hopefully that gives you a better idea of how much like farming land there is that needs to be repurposed and diversified to something that generates a little bit more revenue. But again, if you do have any ideas, no matter how many, how crazy or unrealistic they may be, then please do let us know in the comments down below. We're open to suggestion. I don't really want to go, and, you know, see all of these beautiful views and, and the land get completely ripped apart. Like, I, I don't even like the idea of having a campsite literally there because it's, it, it would block the stunning views. So I'm trying to think of like practical ways like to, to work the land because I think in the corner it makes sense for the caravan site and like campsite to be over there because it's flat it's tucked away it's on the edge of the whole farm and it's not something that you immediately see from like the house that's on the, on the farm that's uh is currently being lived in by my mum and stuff like that so yeah lots of things to think about lots of ideas to float all right as the sky seems to be getting a little bit gloomier and as i said the wind is picking up i think i'm going to get out of the fields and wrap up today's vlog again i know it's a little bit different we will be resuming regularly scheduled content in the in the next video back at the garage getting things finished up there and getting ready for the arrival of the baby but it's always nice to have a wander around and see what possibilities are out there. So if you did enjoy this video, please do leave it a thumbs up rating. I'd appreciate it. If you'd like to see me do some more stuff down the farm, maybe learn how to drive a tractor or get some quad bikes and, and have some fun, uh, learn how to cut edges. I don't know, become a farmer for the day, a day in the life of a farmer. I uh, we keep talking like my family and that. My family are farmers, so we've talked about it for a while now about the idea of me doing a day in life as a farmer and, and going to to work on a farm for a day and showcasing what that's actually like. I think that'd be a really good video if you if you like that idea. Then let me know in the comments down below. But as always, guys, it's been Orion. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace, much love. Bye bye.